Hello everyone! So I know I said in my previous haul that I was on a no buy and that I wasn't going to be buying any more makeup or did I say skincare? I don't know but I accidentally went to Ulta. Accidentally. 21 Days of Beauty started yesterday and my mom and I decided to go out on like a little girls date. We went to TJ Maxx and Ulta and grabbed lunch and I decided to participate in 21 Days of Beauty. So I am on a no buy after this. My husband and I are saving for a house. I mean, we're ready for a house. Like we're ready. We're just obviously looking like everybody else right now. But we're like trying to save for the dining room table and like just random things here and there. So um, this is my last makeup haul for a while. So I need to use what I have. Anywho, so let's get started on the haul. So the first thing I picked up was the St. Moritz um, Dark Tanning Mousse. This is the self tanner that I've been using for years. I've tried the um, St. Tropez one and I like that one, but um, for me at least, this stuff does the same thing and it's $12, so I'd rather buy this one and save some money. So I, I went to go self tan the other day and I realized that mine, um, definitely check your expiration dates you guys, but um, I checked mine and it was expired. So I decided to pick up another one this lasts me for a very long time i've never oh it's leaking oh no okay what was i saying i've never actually gone through like a whole thing of this it usually expires before i finish it because like i'll start self tanning in the spring summertime and then i just don't do it in the winter time really i'll do like the um self tanning lotions i love the saint tropez the watermelon one that one is fantastic you'll smell like a jolly rancher and it gives you a really beautiful like gradual tan over a couple days um, also don't come from my hands i know that they're um pretty dark but the more that i wash them and stuff they'll um they'll fade and then my neck is also darker than my foundation so the next thing i got the saint um this is actually the saint tropez um tanning mitt um I obviously used it last night. I didn't see that the St. Mort's had one, at least on the display there wasn't one, so I just grabbed this one. I've used it before, it works great. Next product is something that was on the um, 21 Days of Beauty. It's the Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen. It's a gel consistency and it's got SPF 30 in it. So basically I'm gonna be using this after my skincare and then before I start applying my makeup, so right in between those two steps. Even on days that I don't wear makeup, I'm just gonna put this all over my face. It's supposed to give you like a really glowy look to the skin and also protect your skin. I've been wanting this for so long and I didn't wanna pay full price, so I got it when it was 50% off. I think I mentioned in my last video that I was using the NYX Fill and Fluff brow pencil, which I still use. I'm almost out of it. There's just like a teeny tiny bit left. And I was planning on purchasing the NYX, um, they have like a precisely one that's like really tiny so you can really get in there. Anywho, so I was planning on getting that one, but then when I saw the 21 Days of Beauty like lineup, I saw that the Anastasia um, Skinny Brow Pencil was going to be on sale. I think it was only like 10 bucks. I got the shade Medium Brown. I've used this before, I know I like it, but I just really don't want to like pay full price for it. Because I know that it'll eventually be on sale. So it's just got a teeny tiny little... Um, what is this? <laughs> what is that called? It's just got a really small tip. So um, you can do some really detailed work. Okay, so last thing that I picked up. See, it's, it's a mini haul. It's not a lot of stuff. Um, this is the Satin Lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And they just came out with these like a couple months ago. I'm wearing it today on the middle of my lips. And, oh wait, I forgot to show you the packaging. It's so, it's so beautiful. Let's see, can you see? It's so pretty. Again, don't touch my hands. Um, <laughs> I got the shade Butterscotch. It's got the A right there. My focus, it's like a really nude satin lipstick. And I don't have any that are this light, so I thought I, I needed that in my collection. They also have matte formulas if you're more into that. I personally like liquid lipstick better than like a matte bullet tube. 
last thing that I did want to mention was the lip liner that I have on today because sometimes I'll go back in videos and be like oh my gosh what lip am I wearing so the lip liner that I used with that lipstick is the makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade wherever walnut I've been using this a lot lately because it smells so good it smells like a like a pencil that you used in elementary okay so that is the end of my haul I hope you all enjoy see you all in my next video